Hello and welcome to Super Science Celebration. I'm Mrs. E and this is my helper Noah. We're going to be doing Kit H Mini Planetarium today. Yay! For this you're going to need Kit H of course. You're going to need any kind of empty box and you're going to need a push pin. Um, you can either take your push pin from your magnet uh, experiment or you can even take it from your Catapults one too if you don't have if you don't have a push pin at home um, The catapult is I forget what kit, but that's okay. All right So let's open up kit H and get out the materials and I'll show you which materials you need to work with first From your kit H mini planetarium you will need your two sides of your planetarium your planetarium base the circle and the adhesive strips there should be about 13 or 14 in each kit. I gave you a couple extra. So the first thing we're going to do, okay, we're going to take our um, sides of our planetarium, one side, take one side, and we're going to put it up on the box, and we're going to poke holes where the stars are. That'll make so the light shines through when we light up our planetarium. So we're going to take your push pin, Put it on your box so you don't wreck your mom and dad's table and start poking the holes. There you go. Good. Of the stars. Can you just it? Yep, it's taking. All right, we switched to phone so you can see we're just, I'm helping him with this just because it takes a little while. Okay, the next thing we're going to do, you can put that down. We have both our things pop punctured. And then we're going to work with our base next. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. What we're going to do is we're going to, these are double-sided tape. So in order to um, do this, we're going to bend one of these, put a bend in it like that. And then we're going to peel one side off. Okay. You're going to peel that one side off right there. And then you're going to stick it on like this on the white. Okay. All right, now I'll give it a try. Maybe, bend it. Maybe you can do the bending. And sure, I'll do the bending. And I'll put it on. Yeah, you might need help from the parent with this one. Okay, go ahead and take it. We're going to put each adhesive strip on each white rectangle around the circle. You should have a couple extra pieces in each in case something goes wrong. And if need be, you can also use just regular tape too. This is just nice because it puts it on both sides. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to take this and we're going to take the here, take this part off so it's still sticky. Okay? But it's sticking out. Oh. <laughs> Careful. Yep. Yeah, use your fingernail and get that off. Or just take it. If you hear a tearing sound when you're pulling the brown side, the brown paper up, then press it back down and try again because you're pulling up the tape. Okay, there. All right, next, you're going to kind of bend these up. They should be scored already for you. Like that, bend those up. Okay, so um, I designed this planet, the mini planetarium, and I kind of have noticed a um, flaw in my design. It's not going together correctly. 
So this little black tab near the center, um, we should cut that off. Um, you'll have two black tabs for the other one, but you don't have to t cut off that one. Just one of the black tabs on one of the sides would will be enough. Okay, when you put your, um, we're going to attach our planetarium to the base now. And we're going to start with this one that says face north at 9 p.m. in October because that one has no tabs along the left side. So we're going to put that one on the rectangle like that. And we're going to press down. Then we're going to go to the next one, face north in September. And you're going to put that. So let's put the black tabs toward um, the inside. The black parts toward the inside and the blue tab toward the outside. And then push that down. Make sure it's on the rectangle. See that? Okay, we're going to work our way around. We're going to again put the black on the inside and the blue on the outside. And we're going to put that down on the next one. Okay. Now we're going to take our other half, and again, we're going to start at face north at 9 p.m. in April, face south at 9 p.m. in August. And we're going to do that same thing, starting the next way around. We're going to put the blue toward the outside and the black toward the inside. There we go. You'll see there's a gap up here, but we will fix that later. Okay, and then when you have all of them on, you can do the same for the sides. This is a little tricky. So we're gonna go like that. And then we're gonna try to get the blue on the outside and the black on the inside. Um, you can put a piece of scotch tape on the top to hold it together. You can also put a piece of masking tape on the inside you'd like. There. This one I see doesn't have a blue tab coming out, so I'm going to just push it out until I find that blue tab. There. Okay. So that is your planetarium. Isn't it beautiful? Um, all right. And you're going to turn it on the inside. I would put a couple pieces of tape right along this. can't really see there. Okay, I'll put them with my scissors. Right along the center line there. And if there's any other parts that are leaking a lot of, um, that seem a lot of, lot of, letting a lot of light come through, you can put some tape on the inside there too. So I'm going to take my masking tape. Here's how it looks. Your mini planetarium is complete. You can take your light and it goes underneath the planetarium like this. If you take it in a dark place, it will light up. Here is our planetarium in the dark. You can see that it lights up. And you'll, if you look around, you should be able to see, I see some, I, won't, I can't catch it on the camera, but I do see some stars being projected onto the walls. So that's pretty cool. And the great, the nice thing about this planetarium is actually you can use it outside at night. 
it's an accurate map of the stars in the night sky. Hope you like this project. Post a photo of your own planetarium when you get finished. Thanks.